Hey, 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 how's it going, folks? Welcome to the first episode of the coolest American English podcast ever. I am your host, Teacher Martinez, and I'm ready to rock with you on this language learning journey. Today, we're going beyond the basics and learning phrases that will make you sound like a native speaker. Get ready to be the light of the party in any country. Let's start with phrase number one. How's it going, mate? How's it going, mate? Hey, John. How's it going, mate? So, this is an informal and friendly way to ask someone how they are doing. Mate is a colloquial way of referring to a friend or partner. How's it going, mate? Okay, phrase number two. What's cracking? What's cracking? Yo, Sara, what's cracking? An informal way of asking someone what is happening or what is new in their life. It's a fun and relaxed way to start a conversation. What's cracking? Or what's new? Phrase number three. My bad. I totally spaced on our plans. My bad is an informal expression to admit that you made a mistake or forgot something. In this case, the person apologizes for having forgotten the plans they had. All right, all right, phrase number four, thanks a bunch. Thanks a bunch. For example, thanks a bunch for the awesome gift, a way of expressing a very effusive and sincere thank you. A bunch means a bunch or a lot. So the person is saying a big thank you. Phrase number five. No worries, I got you covered. For example, forgot your umbrella? No worries, I got you covered. No worries, I got you covered. It's a way to reassure someone when they are worried about something. The person assures that she will take care of what is necessary. All right. All right, phrase number six. Do you have the time by any chance? Do you have the time by any chance? For example, hey, dude, do you have the time by any chance? So, a polite and courteous way of asking someone for the time. By any chance means by chance implying that it is not something urgent. Phrase number seven. Where can I snack a cup of joe around here? Example, I need a coffee as soon as possible. Where can I snap a cup of joe around here? Where can I snack a cup of joe around here? Snack is a colloquial way of saying to grab or to get. Cup of joe is an informal expression to refer to a cup of coffee. The person is looking for where to buy coffee in the area. All right, phrase, 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 phrase number eight. This tune is off the chain. For example, oh my God, this tune is off the chain. Let's hit the dance floor. An enthusiastic way of expressing that something is great or amazing. Off the chain. It is a colloquial expression meaning that something is exceptionally good okay i hope you're enjoying these powerful phrases to spy up your english conversations but that's not all let's have a little dialogue to put our cool phrases into action so this dialogue or conversation is between sarah and mike sarah says hey mike how's it going mate mike says not too shabby sarah what's cracking with you my bad i thought it'll spay on our movie night can we do it tomorrow no worries at all i got you covered let's make it tomorrow then thanks a bunch you are a lifesaver no problemo amiga do you have the time by any chance sure thing it's 8 15 pm by the way this tune is off the chain i know right let's hit the dance floor and there you have it, folks. We reached the end of this explosive episode. I hope that you have had as much fun as I did. Remember, speaking English with attitude is the key to conquering the world. See you in the next episode 
where we'll have more phrases and guaranteeing fun. Till next time.